Hello truth seekers and welcome back to our channel, where we unveil the shocking truth behind the glamorous world of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to our channel. Buckle up, because we're about to dive into some royalty that's hotter than a jalapeno in July. Your friendly neighborhood critic is back and boy oh boy do we have a doozy for you today. We're talking about the latest drama surrounding our favorite ex-royals Harry and Meghan, and their mysteriously absent kiddos, Archie and Lilibet. So grab your popcorn, settle in, and let's get this show on the road. But before we delve into further discussion, if you haven't subscribed, I mean, come on guys, what are you waiting for? Hit like, subscribe, and that notification bell ASAP. So now I know what you're thinking. Not another Harry and Meghan story, but trust me, this one's got more twists and turns than a pretzel factory. So here's the scoop. Our dynamic duo has announced they're headed to Columbia for a royal tour. Sounds exciting, right? Well. Hold your crowns, cause this is where things start getting weird. First off, let's talk about the elephant in the room, or should I say the children not in the room. That's right folks, once again, little Archie and Lilibet are nowhere to be seen. Now I'm not one to jump to conclusions, but doesn't it seem a bit fishy that these kids are always conveniently sick or unable to travel whenever mommy and daddy have a big event? I mean, come on, we've seen this song and dance before, remember the trip to Nigeria? No kids, Harry's solo UK adventures for the Invictus Games, nada. It's starting to feel like we're watching a magic show and Archie and Lilibet are the disappearing act. Now I know what some of you might be saying, but they're just protecting their children's privacy and sure that's a noble cause. But let's be real here folks, we're not talking about taking the kids to Disneyland. This is Colombia we're talking about, a country that even the UK's foreign office is saying, whoa, hold up, about. Speaking of which, let's chat about this Columbia trip for a hot second. Our boy Simon Morgan, ex-royal bodyguard extraordinaire, is raising more red flags than a bullfighting arena. He's talking about drug cartels, far-left terrorism, kidnappings, the whole enchilada. It's like Harry and Meghan decided to book their next family vacation through the Dangerous Destinations R Us travel agency. But here's where it gets really interesting, folks. Simon's not just worried about Harry and Meghan. He's questioning whether Archie and Lilibet will even make an appearance. And let me tell you, when a former royal protection officer starts doubting, that's when my spidey senses start tingling. Now, I'm not saying Archie and Lilibet are figments of our imagination, but you've got to admit, it's getting harder and harder to ignore the elephant in the room. Or should I say the children not in the room? I mean, when was the last time we saw these kids? really saw them, not just in some carefully staged photo op or blurry paparazzi shoot. It's like they're playing a twisted game of Where's Waldo? With the entire world, except instead of Waldo, we're looking for two royal children who seem to have more in common with Bigfoot than with their cousins across the pond. And let's not forget about Megan and all this. Our girl's playing 4D chess while the rest of us are still trying to figure out checkers. Every time questions start swirling about the kids, boom, they're sick again. It's like clockwork, folks. At this point, I'm starting to wonder if Archie and Lilibet have immune systems weaker than a paper umbrella in a hurricane. But here's the kicker. Megan's not just any old celebrity mom. She's a master of spin, PR virtuoso. She's got more tricks up her sleeve than a magician at a Vegas show. And let me tell you, she's using every single one of them to keep us all guessing. Think about it. Every time we start to question where the kids are, she throws us another bone. A vague mention here, a blurry photo there. It's like she's leaving a trail of breadcrumbs, but instead of leading us to the truth, we're just going in circles. Now I'm not saying Megan's got anything to hide, but you've gotta admit, all this secrecy is making things look mighty suspicious. It's like she's playing a game of hide and seek with the entire world and folks, I'm starting to wonder if we're ever going to find what we're looking for. But let's take a step back for a second and look at the bigger picture. Why all this fuss about two kids? Well, my friends, it's not just about Archie and Lilibet. It's about transparency. It's about trust, and dare I say it, it's about the future of the monarchy itself. See, Harry and Meghan didn't just leave the royal family, they left with a bang, dropping more bombshells than a B-52 on a mission. They made some pretty serious allegations about the treatment they received, about racism, about mental health struggles, and in doing so, they positioned themselves as the truth tellers, the ones who were going to pull back the curtain on the royal family. But here's the thing, if you're gonna set yourself up as the beacon of truth, you've gotta be willing to shine that light on yourself too. And right now, that's looking mighty dim when it comes to Archie and Lilibet. It's like they wanna have their cake and eat it too. They want the attention, the platform, the ability to influence millions but they also want to keep their kids completely out of the spotlight. 
And while I get the desire to protect your children, at some point you've got to give the people what they want. Especially when those people are the ones buying your books, watching your Netflix shows, and basically funding your entire post-royal lifestyle. Now, I'm not saying they need to parade Archie and Lilibet around like show ponies, but a little proof of life now and then wouldn't hurt, you know? Just enough to quiet the rumors, to shut down the conspiracy theories, because let me tell you folks, these theories are getting wilder by the day. I've heard everything from the kids don't exist to they're actually AI creations, to they're being raised by the royal family in secret. And while most of us know these are about as likely as the queen doing the Macarena at the next royal wedding, the fact that these theories exist all should be setting off alarm bells in Casa Sussex. But here's the real kicker, folks. While Harry and Meghan are playing hide-and-seek with their kids, the rest of the royal family is out there doing work. We see Prince William and Kate's kids all the time, at royal events, on family outings, even just going to school and, you know what? The sky hasn't fallen, the paparazzi haven't swarmed, life goes on. So what's the deal with Archie and Lilibet? Are they really that different from their cousins, or is this all part of a bigger plan? A plan to keep us all talking, keep us all guessing, keep us all tuned in to the Sussex channel. Because let's face it folks, as long as we are all sitting here wondering where Archie and Lilibet are, we're not talking about anything else. We're not questioning their latest business deals, we're not analyzing their political moves. We're not critiquing their charitable efforts. We're just sitting here, scratching our heads, playing a never-ending game of Where's Waldo, with two kids who might as well be ghosts. And maybe that's exactly what Megan wants. Maybe this is all part of her master plan. Keep us distracted, keep us guessing, keep us talking, because as long as we're talking, they're relevant. And in the celebrity world, relevance is everything. But here's my take, folks. This game of hide and seek, it's getting old. It's time for Harry and Meghan to put up or shut up. Show us the kids or stop dangling them in front of us like carrots on a stick. Because at the end of the day, all this secrecy, all this mystery, it's not doing anyone any favors. Not the public, not the monarchy, and certainly not Archie and Lilibet. So there you have it, folks. The latest chapter in the saga of the Sussex Ghost Children. Will we ever see Archie and Lilibet? Will they join their parents on this Columbia adventure? Or will they remain the most elusive royal children in history? Only time will tell, but one thing's for sure. Your friendly neighborhood critic will be here, ready to spill all the tea as soon as it's brewed. Until then, stay tuned for more shocking stories and scandalous exposés on our YouTube channel. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to stay updated on the latest from the world of the royal family. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more fascinating news about the royal family. Bye for now.